Welcome to Umitsat's Year of Sea Level Anomaly Data for 2024. Here we are looking at data collected by specialized ocean monitoring satellites equipped with radar altimeter instruments that measure sea surface height around the globe. On the imagery, you can see track lines of data from the individual satellites, and these data are then combined to create a global view of sea level variation. This can be compared against the long-term averages from previous years to reveal how sea level is changing. At Jumitsat, we operate the Copernicus Sentinel-6 and Sentinel-3 and JSON-3 ocean monitoring satellites, continuing a time series of sea level rise measurements that started in 1992. As we move to the global view, red areas show where sea level in 2024 was higher than the average over a 20-year period, and blue shows where it was lower than average. And here we can see the main ocean currents as areas where blues and red meet. The Gulf Stream, Koroshiro, Agulhas, and the Brazil Malvinas current. In the Gulf Stream, the blue features are relative lows and are formed from loops in the current that get closed, with cold water from the Arctic seas trapped inside the warmer Sagasso Sea. The slope of the surface between the highs and the lows determines the current velocity, just like winds in the atmosphere between areas of high and low pressure. The roughly circular blue and red features are cold core and warm core eddies. Red features are relative highs and spin off from the loops extending northward, trapping the warm Sagasa water into the colder seas to the north. The features can be seen traveling westward and are often reabsorbed by the Gulf Stream. South of Africa, we see the Agulhas Current, which carries warm water southwards along the East African coast before turning west along the coast of South Africa and then turning around near Cape Town. Its eddies are often dragged with the circumpolar current eastward, while some eddies break off where the current turns back on itself and travel west across the Atlantic. These eddies are called Agulhas Rings. Much faster movement of features traveling west can be seen in the central Pacific close to the equator. These are Rossby waves. The most famous of these is the one that causes El Niño, which is a series of Kelvin waves that occasionally travels east, bringing with it the warm water from the West Pacific and altering sea level and sea surface temperature in the central Pacific and weather patterns globally. The last El Niño ran from 2023 to mid-2024, causing record high sea surface temperatures, rainfall extremes in parts of Africa and severe drought in the Amazon and Central America. The tropical Pacific is now in a neutral phase. We finish off with a view of the rate of sea level change over the last 30 years as a result of climate change. On average, sea level is rising by 3 mm per year. But clearly, some areas see a much larger change. 